Praise God. Amen. We want to welcome all our uh, NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. We just ask you to prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. What God has for you. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Today we're going to be talking about joy is mine. So I just, you know, I just wanted to uh, thank the praise team in advance, you know, because they always lead us into the throne room, you know. Amen. We do a praise and worship, man. And if you're not joining in, uh, we need to pray for you. Or you need Amen. to get saved. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Yeah. We're going to be talking about joy is mine. It's mine. It's mine. So you need to point at yourself. Joy is for you. Amen. The joy, the Bible says joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about this. Joy, well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But joy means Jesus, others, and you. Uh, Amen. Right. <laughs> Jesus, others, Amen. and you. Right. Yeah. So... Praise God. Amen. That's what joy is. Mm. Praise God. And I got a nugget I want to read at you before we get going. Amen. And well, I call them scripture breaks. Amen. We take all kinds of breaks, you know, at work. But why not take a scripture break? Well, I don't drink. Well, I don't smoke. Well, I don't do this. I, why don't you take a scripture break? Amen. Open your Bibles and listen to this uh, scripture break. It says, joy is mine. Joy is strength. Joy is a force. Joy is one of the most powerful spiritual uh, forces in the world. Right. Whatever circumstance you're facing mm -hmm. today and every day, approach it with an attitude of joy. Amen. Jesus, others, and you. Amen. Yes. Praise God. You cannot live a life of faith without being strong in the Lord. And when the Lord wants what the Lord wants you to be strong in, joy. Joy is what he uses. Amen. Hallelujah. Nehemiah tells us, you know, yes, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is not just a state of mind or a short emotion, lived emotion, because you've been born of God by the Holy Spirit. So one of the fruits of the Spirit is joy. Yes, and it's yes, in you. Yes, Listen, it's in you. Develop it, confess it, live by it. Amen. If you want to have and enjoy this power. Amen. Yes, amen. So let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Uh -huh. Amen. amen. Woo, hallelujah. It says develop it, confess it, and live by it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So joy is great. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I've got another one for you. It goes like this. It says, don't forget joy. We forget everything else. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, oh man, it's going to be a bad week. Or oh, it's going to be a hard week. Oh, I got so many things, you know, and we forget about joy. <laughs> it says joy is an essential part of a victorious life. Yeah. Joy is what gives you the strength to hold steady when, yeah. when circumstances get tough. Yes. Amen. Circumstances, things get tough. But when the tough gets going, you get the moving. You yeah, get to yeah. stepping, and you get to stepping out in faith and not in fear. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, Joy gives you the ability to laugh at the devil's face. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. He's laughing at you. Now it's time for you to laugh back at him. It's time for you to put him on the run. He says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he says he'll flee. Mm -hmm. You know what flee means? Yes. It means he'll run away from you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what you want? You yes. want him to go away. So yes. you need to submit yourself to God. Resist him. It means take authority. He's had you on the run too long. It's time you put him on the run. Amen. Amen. Joy gives you the ability to laugh at his face when he starts trying to knock you off your faith. Mm -hmm. When he tries to knock you off whatever it is that you're set to do. That's it. And God has called us to do something, you know. He wants us to do something. And he wants us to be strong in him. And he wants us to fulfill what he's called us to do. Yes. So don't let fear come. We're not stepping out of fear. We're stepping out of faith. Amen. I'm going to step out in joy and I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. So it gives you the staying, standing power that will make you a winner. Mm -hmm. Amen. It, make it a point to rejoice in the Lord always. Give Amen. no place. Listen, it says, give no place to the devil. Yes. Give no place to the enemy. He won't be able to steal your joy or victory. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because the joy of the Lord is, is your strength. Right. And I'm going to step out in faith. And I'm going to step out joyfully. And do what God has called me to do. 
Amen. Not only me, but you. He's called you. He put you here. He didn't put you here to be a loser. He put you here to be a winner. Amen. He put you here to be victorious for him. Amen. You are victorious. See yourself victorious. You're not a victim. You're victorious in him. Yeah. Amen. You're not a, a whiner and you're not a warrior. You're a warrior for God. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, Ooh, we got to get these things right, man. You know that your ticket for surviving in this world is in your words that you speak mm. the bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue yes. so what are you what have you been speaking mm. if you want to step out in faith and if you want to step out victorious confess the right things say the right things say what the word of god says we got to get in the word we got to get in the word and we got to let that word get in us meditate on it and let it out Confess it. Speak it out. Amen. Woo! And you're going to be victorious. Amen. You're going to be a winner. You're going to be a champion for, yeah. for him. Amen. We ain't even started yet. <laughs> Praise yeah. God. I'm excited. So you be excited. Amen. Yeah. Let's grab our swords. Soldier of God. Yeah. Yeah, let's confess what the word of God says. That's what we use. We use the word of God. Amen. The yeah. Bible. The B-I-B-L-E. Yeah. That's the book for me. Yeah. Amen. But we got to open it up and, and see what it says so we can get it in us so we can stop coming out of our mouths. Amen. Praise God. Let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking about the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Man, we've had church. <laughs> we've had church. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Make God glad and the devil sad. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He don't want to hang out with us. Amen. Why? Because we're going to be speaking the victory. Yeah. We're going to be speaking the word of God. Yeah. When you start speaking the word of God, those around you are going to change. I've, yeah. I've, said, I've said this so many times, but you know, when I first came to Christ, I asked the Lord to, um, you know, just yeah, get rid of all these enemies I've got. And I started losing friends. Uh -oh. He changed my friends. And he's going to do the same for you. Amen. You think these are your so-called friends. Mm -hmm. Until you start confessing. And getting in the word. And start mm -hmm. being and doing right. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know. It's all them so-called friends are going to fall off. Oh, yeah. And God's going to bring the One new friends off. around. He's going to bring the right friends around. Amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Woo! Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about joy is mine. Yeah, brother, but you don't know what problems I've got. Yeah, but he does. Right. Amen. Uh -huh. And what does he tell us to do? Mm -hmm. Says to get, cast them yes. to him. Yes. Give it to him. Yes. Why are you still holding on? Oh, you don't know the problems I have. No. You don't know my problems. No. Well, you know what? You made them yours. Yeah. Make them his. Make them his. He says, give it to him. Amen. Cast it on him. Give it to him. Throw it at him. And say, Lord, these are for you. These are not for me. You, these are for you. You said give them to you, so I'm giving them to you gladly. Amen. He said he wants them. You know, he's got a mission for you. He's got an assignment for you. And you cannot fulfill this assignment with all these things hanging on you. With all these things holding you back. Amen. With all these worries on you. He says, give it to me. And then press on, child of God. Press on, soldier of God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So praise God. How to resist the devil and maintain your joy. Uh -huh. How am I going to do this? Well, keep going, Scott. There you go. Joy is mine. Keep going. Oh, hallelujah. We got some good ones coming up. Amen. 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 There you go. This is how you do it. <laughs> James 4, 7, and 8. Write these down. Amen. Then you can go and check these out later for yourself. Amen. Yes. But James 4, 7, and 8 says this. This says, submit yourself. Submit yourself. Yes. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Uh -huh. Amen. Says, you resist the devil, uh -huh. and he will flee he from, you. from you. Amen. Yes. But you have to resist him. Yes. Well, I'm just waiting for God to take the devil away from me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he went to the cross. He paid for it. Amen. Yeah. So now he says, you got to confess. You got to submit yourself. Lord, I submit myself to you. I take authority over this devil. Amen. And I'm going to speak to him. And I'm yes. going to resist him. Yes. And I'm going to command him to go yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Says, he'll flee from you. Says, come near to God and he will go away from you. Mm -hmm. 
No. He says, come close to God and he'll come close to yes. you. Yes. Amen. The problem is not with him. The problem is with us. We need to get close to him. Yes. Amen. He's, he's never moved. He's always there for us. The Bible says he's in heaven sitting at the right throne of God, at the right side, a place of authority. Amen. A place of authority. And he's not just sitting there. He said he's sitting there. He says he's interceding for us. He's right. praying for us. Right. Amen. So he's yeah. praying for us. We need to pray. Mm -hmm. And we need to get busy for him. Amen. And doing what he wants us to do. That's Amen. Right. So he's giving us something to do. That's right. Says, but he says come close to me. Mm -hmm. And I'll come close to you. Mm -hmm. Basically he wants to have a relationship. Yes. We need to have a relationship Praise with God. him. We need to open yes. up yes. and let yes. him in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Says wash your hands you sinner. And oh. purify your heart. You double minded. Oh we're not to be double minded, you know. We're not to be lukewarm. Oh he says, I'll take you hot and I'll take you cold. Uh -huh. He says, but don't be lukewarm. He says, I'll spit you out. I'll vomit you out of my, you know, out of him. Yes. So we don't want that. We want to be, we don't want to be double minded, you know. In the battlefield is the mind. Yes, That's what the enemy attacks. Yeah. So we got to renew our minds with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Renew it, you know, because you go, your mind is going to start wandering off. And you know, nowadays, if you look at TV, you look at yourself, yeah. or you look at anything, it's yeah. negative, it's bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to renew your mind with the Word of God. Uh -huh. Amen. Get your mind right back to what the Word of God says. Otherwise, your mind's going to start wandering off and going off and doing things you ain't supposed to do. And guess what? If your mind goes off, <laughs> Your flesh is going to go with it. Yep. That's it. But if you <laughs> feed your spirit, the word of God, and you renew your mind mm -hmm. to the things of God, when your flesh wants to just sit down and be lazy, All right. your spirit, man, yeah. and your mind is going to say, wait All a minute, right. it's two against one, so you don't have to side with us. Uh -huh. So the flesh has to go with us, amen? Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to do what God wants us to do. Amen. amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Let me read this to you, okay? So just be open. Allow the word of God to come in and, 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 and bless you. It says, by submitting yourself to God, resisting the devil, and drawing near to God through your prayers, through your worship, and through studying of his word, Amen. we can experience his presence and find renewed joy. Yes. Renew Amen. our minds in him. So we want that joy in us. We want to renew our Amen. minds. To him amen renew our minds and be thinking the way he wants us to think yes, yes. amen to see yourself the way he wants you to see yourself not yes. the way the world wants to right. you to see yourself right. yes. not the way the enemy is coming against you right. amen the bible encourages us to let the devil steal the excuse me to not let the devil steal our joy That's keep going it. scott give me some more That's here it. there we go <clears throat> The thief comes to do what? Steal kill. steal, kill, and destroy. But the Bible says, Jesus says, I come that you might have life yes. and that you might have it more abundantly. That's it. Amen. You know when you have it more abundantly? Yeah. You're going to be more joyful. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, you, we just don't want to live. Uh, well, I'll just drop it back there. Let me let me let me let me see it like this. The Bible encourages us to not let the devil steal your joy. You know, the end not only is the enemy gonna want to steal your joy, he's gonna use people. Mm -hmm. Yes. God uses his children. God uses the body of Christ, us, the church. But you know what? The enemy, if you're not a child of God, the enemy is gonna use his people. <laughs> he's gonna use people, mm -hmm. friends families or whoever to come and try to distract you right. to come and try to knock you down amen to put all this other mess on you we are reminded that our joy comes from the lord as we serve a source of as as and serves as a source of strength a source of force in our lives by remind, remaining steadfast in our faith rejoicing in the lord always and resisting the devil yeah. amen the enemy tries to uh, attempts to rob us of our joy. We can experience the abundant life, and that 
is in uh, John 10.10 10, where he talks about I've come that you might have life and have it more, more, abundantly. more, more, more abundantly, yeah. more joyfully in yes. him. Amen? Amen. And you saw that. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. There you go. <laughs> Check that out. Yes. Says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, but I come to give you life. Amen. So we just need to stand on the word of God. Amen. And not only stand on the word, we need to speak the word. Amen. Amen. We need to speak the word. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going, Scotty. Hallelujah. There you go. I, I just showed that Amen. to you a few minutes ago. It says joy. What is joy? Joy stands for Jesus, Jesus others, and you, mm -hmm. yourself. Amen. You got to get those in the right priority. Jesus first. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33. Seek him first, and then others, and then yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's Philippians 4, 4. Let's go there. Amen. We're going to read it. As a matter of fact, go to the next one, Scotty. It, it's on there. Well, Keep calm. It says, don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil or anybody steal your joy. You know, instead of them taking you into their troubles, into their problems, you bring them into your peace. You bring them into your joy. Amen. They're going to see it. They want it, you know. But they say, how can I have the joy that you have? You're always joyful. Why? Because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Because Jesus is, I'm on Jesus' side. And Jesus is with me. He said, he's never leaving nor forsake you. He's there. And you, they can have the same thing. If you want, all you need to do is, you know what? It's time to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, listen, there's no other way. He says, I'm the only way to the Father. Amen. There's lots of problems out there, but you know what? You can make it right. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And when you confess him, you know what he's going to say? He says, you know, now get up and press on with yes. the things of God. Get in the word. Start mm -hmm. studying the word and start yeah. confessing the word mm -hmm. and living the word. And then you can go yes. and do what God wants you to do. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you for you. says, I like this one here. It says, if Satan can't steal your joy, guess yes, what? He, can he can't keep your goods. That's it. Amen. Oh, he wants to steal your joy. You know, if he steals your joy, he's going to steal the rest of everything else. Yeah. But it says, if Satan can't steal your joy, he can't keep your goods. Right. Amen. You know, that's what the enemy wants. He wants to take all the goods away. Amen. That's what the world wants to do. He, they want to take all your goods away. But you know what? You can have them back. So wait a minute. And the, your your ticket to victory is in your voice, in your mouth, in your tongue, because your tongue speaks truth. The words, your the words, uh, uh, death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Mm. So I'm going to speak the right things. I'm going to speak God's word. And when you speak God's word, you can have your goods. You can have your blessings. You're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. Don't take stress. Amen. Walk in the blessings. Have the blessings God wants you to have. Amen. And you can have them. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. But the enemy don't want you to have anything mm -hmm. except a hard time. And some of us, that's all we confess. Is man is a bad day. Mm -hmm. Man is a hard day. Mm -hmm. Man, we're, all we're doing is what? Oh, we're always magnifying the problem instead of magnifying our God. Mm -hmm. It's like our problems are bigger than our God. No, we just few Sundays back we talked about my God is bigger than anything yes. my God is bigger than whatever the enemy brings against you amen. my God is bigger than the devil That's it. amen my God is bigger than whatever whatever you may be facing amen, amen. amen. keep going Scotty amen Woo, hallelujah there you go you can leave it right there oh God praise God Bible says this is the day the Lord has made Yes. And I will be sad in it. Oh, oh God. It says, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to be joyful and be glad in it. Amen. Why? Because you know what? I've said this before. I'll say it again. You can write this down. Christians, believers, whatever you call yourself, believer, a Christian, a child of God, should be the happiest people in the world. Mm -hmm. Why? Because... The truth, we know the truth, and the truth is going to set us free, free. from the mindsets, 
from the traditions, you know, that keep us down and press down. No, I know the truth and the truth has set me free. So we should be the happiest people. Yeah, but you know, hey, what things are going on right now, but greater is he that's in me than yes. he that's in the world. That's Amen. It. This is not my home. I'm just passing through. Mm -hmm. Heaven is my home. Amen. And I should be happy. I don't care what kind of sad news they're putting out. That's it. Amen. I'm going by what the word of God says. Amen. 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 And yes, I know I've read Second uh, Timothy <laughs> chapter 3 and it yeah. talks about the doom and gloom and all the bad things that are coming. Uh -huh. But you know what? The greater one is in me. Greater the peace one. is in me. The joy is in me. Amen. All the fruit of the Lord, spirit Lord, is in Lord, me. Lord, and Lord, I'm just going to study it Thank and develop Lord. it and live it Praise. and go by it. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. Amen. You could be sad if you want to. Mm, but you okay, don't have to yeah. stay sad. Amen. You could be joyful. Yes. Because the joy of the Lord gives you strength. Yes, and the enemy don't want you to have that. And people don't want you to have that. Yes, because the enemy is going to use people to come around you. And bring you all kind of sad news. Mm, well, praise God. You know, they need to get full of God. Amen. Yes. They need Jesus. Amen. Keep going, Scotty. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. There we go. We just talked about this. But Proverbs 18, 21. Write these down and go back and yes. check them out. A lot of times I just go and study it myself. And I go and drift different translations. And mm -hmm. see what the other translations have to say. Mm -hmm. But it says death and life are in the power of the tongue. The tongue. Mm -hmm. The tongue is what you use to speak words. Yes. So death and life are in the power of the, of the, of, of the words you speak. Yes. So... Say the right things. The word, the Lord's telling us. He used words to bring yes. this world into existence. That's it. That's and I, I speak words to go and accomplish what I want him to do. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing. Right. Confess the right things. Yes. Speak life into your situation yes. Yes. instead of doom and gloom. Yes. Amen. Right. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. There you go, Scotty. Leave it right there. It says the voice. Your voice. Your voice. If you have a voice, that means you have to speak it out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay? It's not going to do you any good to just keep it in. Mm -hmm. But your voice, your words, yes. says your words is your ticket out of Satan's don't dominion. Yeah. And your circumstances. That's good. Absolutely. Amen? Yeah. You yeah. need to write this down. You need yeah. to have this. Your voice, we're talking about your words. What have you been confessing? What have you been speaking? You've been speaking the problem instead of speaking the word. Mm -hmm. You need to speak the word of God. Amen. You need to speak what the word says. Not what the world says. Not what the enemy mm -hmm. says. Not what your head says. You know your head's going to say the wrong things. Right. If you're not renewing it to the word of God. That's it. When you renew it to the word of God. Say wait a minute. That's not what the word says. Stop right there. Delete. Amen. <laughs> You put so you type stuff on your computer or your cell phone and say, wait a minute, that's not what I wrote. That's not what I want. Erase it, delete it, and start over again. Amen. This is what the word of God says. This is what I'm gonna confess. Hit that and speak it. Speak it. Amen. Yeah, hit that autocorrect. I'm gonna correct it with the word of God. Uh -huh. Amen. But your voice, your words is your ticket out of Satan's dominion. Yes. You've kept yourself in there too long. That's right, it. Right. It's time for you to stop That's com That's confessing it. that way. Quit being a prisoner of the past. Oh my Quit being a prisoner of the enemy Ooh. and the things you say. Well, you, right. say you can have freedom, amen, of your circumstances. Like we said a few minutes ago, mm. <laughs> quit magnifying your problems and magnify your God. Hallelujah. There's no comparison. My God is bigger than anything. You know yes. what anything said? Yes. <laughs> That's what David told the giant. You know, <laughs> he saw the giant, but he didn't see the giant. He says, "My God is bigger." My God. <laughs> so whatever you may be facing right yeah. now, you know, it's just say, you know what? My God is bigger. Yeah. I don't care how big you look. Amen. My God is bigger. Yes. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. You know, when we were kids, I told a Bible study class Wednesday. <laughs> when we were kids. Say, hey, my dad is bigger than your dad. My right. brother is bigger than yours. And yeah. you know what? My dad could beat your dad. Yeah. Well, we're always comparing, competing, you know. Well, you know what? You can just point at the devil and say, my God 
is bigger than you and he's a matter of fact he's already defeated you that's it and he's yeah. given me authority over that's you it. so i'm going to confess mm -hmm. and i'm going to submit myself to him and i'm going to resist you and i'm going to tell you where to go you All know right where you now. tell the devil to go you tell him to go to hell yeah. <laughs> so go back home where's home hell <laughs> go back to hell <laughs> and stay there <laughs> God. amen God. Nehemiah 8 10 says for the joy of the Lord is your strength that's the uh, King James says that right. and that's the uh, 8 10 B uh -huh. that's the last part of, last part of 10 B uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, the amplifier says this for the joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold mm. we all have a stronghold what is mm. your stronghold the negative or the positive mm. amen we got that's what the amplifier says. The joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold. Mm -hmm. Let it be your stronghold. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to stand my ground. Yes. I'm going to stand on His Word. I'm going to yeah. stand on Him. Joy yeah. is an important yeah. part of your victorious life of believers. We're believers. We're the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the joy is what gives yeah. us the strength to hold steadfast in the cir uh, when the circumstances get tough. Amen. When they get tough, you know what? The tough. tough get going. That's it. <laughs> Praise God. Joy gives you the ability to laugh at the devil's face when he starts to try to knock you off your That's faith. It. Right. That's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to laugh in your face and says, oh, that don't work for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it work for somebody else. You know, it work for brother holy so-and-so <laughs> or sister's holy so-and-so. But it'll yeah. never work for you. Yes, and you know is. what? We give in and we start uh -huh. giving in to. But we, never, we don't submit ourselves to that. No, amen. Mm -hmm. It says joy gives you the ability to laugh at his face. Yes. Joy gives you the standing, the stand power mm. to make us winners. Make it a point to rejoice and be glad in each and every day he's given us. Right. Each Thank and every you. day he gives us a new day to Let's serve it. him Woo. and be rejoyful. Yes. Be glad. Thank Amen. You. Hallelujah. It says, listen, it says give no place no to place. the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to crack the door open. You know how we do that? When we confess the negative things. Yes, he, yes, we crack yes. the door open and That's guess what? It. He comes in and he wants to take over. That's it. And he wants to have dominion. Mm. He wants to drive. Right. He wants to drive you. Amen. Yes, and say, yes. wait a minute. Give no place to the devil. And he won't be able to steal your joy right. or your yes. victory. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank That's you, good, Lord. Good, good, good. There we go. Philippians 4 and 4 says what? Rejoice. Yes. Rejoice in the Lord and the Lord sometimes. No, always. always. It says always. Yes. Again, I will say rejoice. If you didn't hear me the first time, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. <laughs> and then, and I'm going to say it again. Yeah. And say it again. You know how we get the negative stuff? We repeat it. We repeat it. We keep repeating oh. the negative oh, yeah. stuff and we can have what we say. Yeah. So why not confess the positive thing yes. and rejoice? And you know, again, I'm going to say rejoice. Mm. Hallelujah. Rejoice. If we confess the right thing, keep confessing the right thing. Yes. You know what? We're going in the right direction. Yes. We're going His way. Hallelujah. We're going God's way. Yes. Amen. Whew. Not the world's yes. ways. <laughs> the Praise world wants God. to distract you yes, and take you down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going, Scotty. Woo Hallelujah. Yeah. Psalms 37, 4 and 5. You write these down, okay? I but it says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, mm -hmm. and He will give you the desires Desire. of your heart. Mm -hmm. He's not holding them from you. That's it. We confess the wrong things and we keep them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the number uh, 5 says, verse 5 says, Commit your ways to the Lord, trust yes. also in Him. And he shall bring it to, bring it to pass. pass. It. It's going to come to pass. Oh yeah. And his timing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just confess what the word of God mm -hmm. says. You're going to see through it. Mm -hmm. It comes to pass. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. We don't have to rush or anything. God's timing. That's Lord, it. At your time, Lord. That's but it. still, I'm going to continue to confess mm -hmm. the word. Amen. Amen. Woo, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> You know, I remember, uh, uh, oh shoot, can't think of his name. Uh -oh. That's okay, we'll go there again. <laughs> Keep going. Rejoice. 
Rejoice always. Pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Be joyful always. You know, it makes people mad. It makes yeah. the devil mad, but it makes people mad too. Yeah, Why are you always yeah. cheerful? Why can't you be <laughs> sad? You know, you say the wrong like things. You. you know, it's okay if you say one cuss word, you know. No, I'm not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give thanks in all circumstances. Galatians 5, 22 through, two, through 23. Uh -huh. We're going to be talking. We've talked about uh, the fruit of the Spirit. It says, yes. but the fruit of the Spirit is love. You see joy in them? Mm -hmm. yes. Joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, yeah. gentleness, self-control self against such there is no law Amen. Galatians 5 22 and 23 Amen. man write these down go check them out Amen. for yourself yes. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Hebrews 12 and 2 keep going Scotty okay James mm. James 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 1 chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 and the King James says this says, my brethren, count it all joy I when you know. fall into diverse oh, temptations, yes. yeah. knowing this, yes. that the trying of your faith worketh Work patience. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Count it all joy yes. when you fall into diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. New Living Translation says like this. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, when troubles, 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 plurals. Plural. Yeah. When troubles come, yeah. when troubles uh, of any kind come your way, consider it all an opportunity of great joy. Mm. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance yes. to grow. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to be strong in Him. Amen. I'm going to be strong and joyful in Him. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to have some roots growing. Amen. I'm going to stand my ground. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. Lord. Keep going, Scotty. Man, these are good. Yes. <laughs> here we go right here. <laughs> Hebrews 12 and 2. King James uh -huh. says, Looking up to Jesus, the yes. author and finisher of our faith, Amen. who for the joy that was set before him yes. endured the cross, yes. despising the shame, and is, set, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. He knew what he was facing. I told you my version. <laughs> Father told the son, says, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> says, son, I want my people back. Oh, but I'll have to send you to earth. And I'm going to have to sacrifice you. And I'm going to have to shame you in front of all these people. Mm. Will you do this for me? And he agreed, so he came. But he knew from the beginning yes. that he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you know what? Before Jesus left, he says, you know, people are going to hit you, church. Mm -hmm. People are going to talk about you, church, yes. child of God. Yes. But that's okay. He says, you know why? Because they did, they did it to me. They me. Mm -hmm. and they, they'll do it to you. Mm -hmm. But just know that I am still yours and you're still mine. Amen. Amen. And be strong in me. Mm -hmm. He says, you know what? I'm going to give you joy. <laughs> Because my joy is your strength. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we got to keep this joy in us. Amen. Amen. Keep God. this is this. If you keep this joy, he says, he can't take your goods. Yes, yes. <laughs> he can't take your blessings. <laughs> he can't take your blessings. <laughs> Amen. So he endured the cross. Yes, and you know what? <laughs> Jesus came as a man. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, every time he had an opportunity to spend time with the father, said, Dad. <laughs> I need your strength. Mm -hmm. This is hard, mm -hmm. but I need your strength mm -hmm. to endure the cross. Yes. Amen. But we got a cross to carry each and every day. Yes. Lord Jesus, I need your strength. Amen. <laughs> I need your strength each and every day to fulfill what it is that you want me to do. Right. Yes. Amen. And Amen. keep steady on your walk with for him. Yes. Amen. Yes. And stay joyful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't be sad. You know the world. People are going to come. Distractions are going to come. Oh, and they're yeah. going to say, you know what? It's time you took a break from your Christian walk, you know. <laughs> hey, come into the world and enjoy the world a little bit, you know. No. You know, you don't You don't go out with the enemy. And you don't dance with the enemy. You don't party with the enemy. 
Because you've come to steal, kill, and destroy. I know all about you. And I'm not giving in. I'm not backing down. Amen. I'm going to stay steady in my walk with the Lord. Amen. Keep going, Scotty. Hallelujah, man. This is good. This is John 5, 9 through, uh, excuse me, 15, 9 through uh, 11. And the NIV, this is King James. This is King James. The NIV says it like this. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Yes. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remained in his love, I have told you this so that my joy will be with you and yes. that your joy may be complete. Yes. Amen. And I want my joy to be complete in mm. him. Amen. Amen. That's so good. praise God. I want his joy. And you know what? His joy is my strength. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep walking in his joy. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. James James says, oh, go back. Sorry. It says, as, as the Father has yes. loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love, and I'll keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, uh -huh. and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that in my joy you may remain, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy might be full. full. I want my joy to be full for him. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. Ooh, keep going, Scotty. These are good, man. These are good. We all, go ahead and pass that one. You want that one? Keep going. Keep going. We should have more. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Okay. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Woo, hallelujah, man. You know what? We need our Bible. Open your yeah. Bibles. Open your Bibles to Psalm 100. We, we sing it. We, we read it all the time. But, yeah. you know, go to your Bible. Open it up to Psalm 100. And, man, it'll bless you. Anytime yeah. you read the word, oh, the word yeah. wants to bless you. Yes, the Father yes. wants to bless you if you allow yourself yes. to be blessed. Yeah, As a matter of fact, somewhere in here, Scotty, there's one that talks about <laughs> blessing blockers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Stay away from all blessing oh, blockers. Yes. You know what they want to do? They yeah. just want to block all the blessings from oh, you. Now. So you got to mm -hmm. just not hang out with them. No, my goodness. They just want to bust your bubble. There we go. Separate yourself from blessing blockers. Yeah. That's a new one for you. Mm -hmm. It says, they purposely distract you with sin, drama, and fear because Ooh. they can't stand to see you happy. That's they can't stand to see you goodness. joyful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so then what they want to do is they stay away. He's saying, stay away from these blessing blockers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're going to call and say, well, you can't be enjoying yourself like that. You can't be having a good time like that. You know, hey, i got so many problems. Let me share some of my problems with you. I say, no, thank you. You know, let me share my Jesus with you. Amen. If you have Jesus, all these problems will go away. But you got to give it to him. Yes. And you got to seek him first. He says, if you confess him, you know, he'll be your Lord and Savior. Yes. But you need to. Give up this word. Amen. Amen. Give yourself. Thank you, Scotty. Man, that was That's good. <laughs> Psalms 100. Let me find Psalm 100. Are you there yet? I'm not oh. there yet. <laughs> Amen. Psalms 100 goes like this. It says, King James says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all you lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You know, we, we make a lot of noise. But what kind of noise are you making? Mm -hmm. Is it a negative noise? Is it a bad noise or is it a good thing? It's a good thing. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all you land. It says, serve the Lord with gladness, joyfulness. Amen. Come before his presence with singing. You know, if you're going to be happy, you're going to sing. Even the little birds wake up every morning, you know, and they start singing. Man, they're so happy. We can do the same thing, children of God. Look what Jesus did for us. He paid a price. Yes. He didn't Oh, we overpriced, we cannot pay. Right. And we belong to him. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Come before his presence with singing. 
Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and now we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Amen. He's, if we're his sheep, he's our pastor. Mm. He's our pastor. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he's our shepherd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> says, for verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful, joyful unto him, and bless his name. Oh, and verse 5 says, For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth, truth endureth to all generations. Ooh, hallelujah, man. Thank you, Lord. If that don't bless you, we need to get you saved. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you, need, you, need, you need to get saved. You need to get saved. There's no other way. There's no other way. He says, I am the only way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. That's it. Amen. There's no other way. That's it. And you know, when this life is over, it's not over. That's it. It's only the beginning. Amen. Only the beginning. Mm -hmm. Whether you go up or you go down uh, is it, 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 your choice. Right. But you have, you're going to have to decide. Yeah. And if you don't decide, somebody's going to decide for you. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to make sure you go up. Oh, yeah. Don't make it too late. You know, tomorrow's not guaranteed for you. No, it's not. So today, when you have a chance, you know, all you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against mm -hmm. you. Come my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And He's not going to turn you down. Just like. That's it. So and so has told you. Thank you, Lord. You know, they've told you, you know, he can't use you anymore. There's only a certain amount that goes mm -hmm. and the rest stays. Mm -hmm. Show me, is that scripture? Mm -hmm. Is it scriptural? Huh. No. No. Then don't believe it. Don't take it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> don't re do not receive it. Amen. Praise God. I like this. Oh, this is yeah. this is this is all part of this being joyful. John 3 16 for God so loved the world for God so loved the world Amen. that he gave his only Amen. begotten son says that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have Amen. everlasting life. joyful Amen. happy abundant. life abundant life in him Amen. Amen but you have to decide for yourself yes you do it says you need to confess him with your mouth yes not your parents, not exactly. your pastors, not nobody else's mouth. Uh -huh. He said, you must confess with your mouth the yeah, Lord yeah. Jesus and believe in your heart yes. that God has raised him from the dead. Oh, he says, yes. and you shall be saved. Yes. But you have to confess with your That's mouth. It. You got to speak it out. Amen. Amen. And if you don't, don't expect <laughs> to go up because you'll be going down. <laughs> and you can't blame nobody but it yourself. Is, yeah. Amen. So don't count on nobody else. Hey, we're giving you the word. You take it and you confess it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You receive it for yourself. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Here we go. We just talked about this three minutes ago, but it says, yes. casting all cares upon him. Why? Because he cares, he for, cares you. for you. First Peter 5, 7. That's it. That's it. Why are you still holding on to all this negative mm -hmm. stuff? Why are you still buried under all this stuff? When he says, give it to me. Yes. I'm so busy, <laughs> I can't even pay attention. Oh. I'm so busy, you know, I, I, I don't know when I'm going to have another day off. Well, you know what? <laughs> Still, give it to Him. Amen. And start living for Him. Mm -hmm. And things are going to look brighter yes. and brighter each and every day. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. It says, First Peter 5, 7 in the expanded Bible says, mm -hmm. Give all worries to Him. Cast all your anxieties on Him. Yes. Why? Because... He cares for you. Cares for you. Ooh, hallelujah. That's it. Thank you, Scotty. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says this. New Living Translation says, Don't worry about anything. and say it. Pray about everything. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> Man, nobody ever told me this before. <laughs> well, you ain't never opened the word before. <laughs> it says, Tell God what you need and thank Him for yeah. all he has done yeah. and then you will experience yeah. God's peace yeah. which exceeds anything we can understand his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live yeah. in Christ Jesus amen. amen that's the New Living Translation amen, amen. praise God thank you Lord thank you Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. hallelujah and uh, we can also throw in uh, go to the next one Scotty or the, 
Okay, yeah, just leave it right there. Anyway, Psalms 55, and, and uh, we, we talked about this last week. But 55, 22 says this in the expanded Bible. It says, give, cast, throw. Give, cast, yes. throw yes. your worries, your burdens, yes. that which he has given you. Amen. Amen. It says, to your Lord. Mm -hmm. And he will take care of and sustain you. Yes. He will never let the good, righteous people down. That's it. Amen. He will not let you down. That's it. There you go right there. Says, this is our new King James says, cast your burdens on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Amen. 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 You know what? I'm gonna make a stand. Mm -hmm. And when I'm gonna make when I'm stand, I'm gonna stand on his word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And you know, as I stand on his word, mm -hmm. I'm gonna grow some roots. Yeah. And when I grow roots, you can't move me now. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what the negative news are. I don't care what the bad news are. I'm standing on what the Word of God is. You know, this is what you need to receive. Say, wait a minute. That's not what the Word of God says. Amen. Because they're going to feed you a bunch of lies and bad news. And you're going to say, that's not what the Word of God says. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God says. When you stand on what the Word of God says, the Bible says we could be Christian, church, you could be the happiest people on earth. Mm -hmm. On our way to heaven. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be happy. Because we're heading home. Yes. And you. not only that. But I'm standing on what the word of God says. Amen. Not what the world says. Not Amen. the doom and gloom. Not the negative. Not the bad. But I'm standing on what the word of God yes. says. Amen. And this is what the word of God says. And the word of God is truth. He says if you know the truth. It's going to set you free. Amen. So now. Get in this word. And know the truth. Yes. So that you can get away from all these traditions. From all these mindsets. That people are based on. You know. That's not scriptural. I'm not going to receive that. I'm not receiving that. Do you know what? <laughs> I take all my trash to the dumpster. I cast all my cares on him. Yes. And he takes care of it. Amen. And I'm going to be free to do what he wants me to do. Amen. So did you get something? Yes. <laughs> Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Woo, hallelujah. Let me see what I have. Oh, man, we, we, we're not even halfway through. So we're going to continue with joy is mine, too, next week. Amen. Or no, it'll be Mother's Day. So let's, let's be, let's be, let's be uh, ready for that. So those of you watching, if you never asked him to be your Lord and Savior, now's the time. Don't put off another day. Let this day, let this new year be the year that yes. you come to Him. Quit running. Yes. It's time to stop and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Yes. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. I want to be for you. Amen. He went for us when He went to the cross. The cross is a sign of victory, not a sign of defeat. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. He rose on the third day. We serve a risen Savior. The enemy said defeated foe. Amen. And you need to know the truth and speak the truth and let him know I submit myself to God. I resist you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's got to go. Amen. He don't have to put you on the run anymore. You're going to put him on the run. And say, hey, get under my feet. That's where you belong. Under Amen. my feet. Or go back to hell. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. You have sickness in your body? I speak to my body all the time. You can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Why do I speak to my body? I speak the word of God. And I tell my body, you know what? By Jesus' stripes, you're healed. Mm -hmm. So I receive healing in my body. Yeah. There's mal malfunctions happening. There's things happening. Aches and pains going on. But I say, you know what? By his stripes, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. So I speak to any malfunctions in my body. Be healed. In Jesus' name, function the way God created you to function. And be restored in Jesus' name. By his stripes, I'm healed. See yourself healed the way he sees you. Amen. And the way you are. Because he paid a price for it. Amen. So, praise God. <clears throat> Time to give. Just go to our website. NBCBigBen.com Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Mm -hmm. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God. Amen.